So first we're just gonna take the length of the kokanee here. We're gonna do total length. So we try to get the mouth closed and then see where the tail extends to. And we measure in millimeters and this one is uh, 233. Okay. And then we're gonna grab some scale samples from right underneath the dorsal fin. So you can scrape them away, they come away really easily with the knife. And we put these in an envelope. And then we, to get into the inside of the head where the otoliths are, um, the first thing that I do is cut off the nose. Because then you can kind of see where the head would be. And then you kind of cut back across the skull so you can open the skull up. And so what you see, this white right here is the fish's brain. And so we want to try to pull that out. We can. Sometimes it's a little sticky, small piece. There we go, it's slowly coming. And then one of the otoliths actually came with it right here. So, might be a little hard to see. Let's see if I can clean it up a little on my hand. So right there, in the middle of my finger is an otolith. Middle of your hand? Or middle of my hand, yeah. <laughs> yeah, forceps. My left hand. Can't see. Yeah, rub it on the, there you go. It's in. Okay. So that's one, and these guys actually have two, so we're gonna try to see if we can get the other one out now. You wanna try to make sure it looks like it's right here. Yep, so it's just right, you know, next to the brain. And we get both of the otoliths, and we look at both of them to make sure that we can get an accurate age. As these fish are growing, what these are is they're not actually bones, they're a calcium structure, and so as these fish are growing, they're putting down, you know, layers of minerals on this structure. And so what that, what you end up with is actually a structure that has rings on it, kind of like a tree. And so you can look at those rings and tell how old the fish is by looking at the rings as they've laid down. We can also um, do some calculations and see how uh, long they were at different ages. So we compare the increment between the growth rings to the length of the fish and we can back calculate and figure out how they grew over time as well.